Hello, hello, it is Saturday night, it's after 2 in the morning, and I am hanging out, and I'll show you what I'm doing in a minute, but I'll tell you a little story. So, on Friday, we haven't had like an easy day since the beginning of the year. Um, work's been really busy, we keep consistently getting let down, and uh just hasn't been super great so Friday we finally had our easy day that we've been waiting for that we've been working so hard for and I was pretty go 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 because I wanted to make the most of my easy day and just relax so I got my work done two hours early and we came back from our last break and the guys were like I was gonna help them work and they're like you should go take your one of your tests and to kind of get into that um, my work has two different classifications for welders level one is a production welder and level two is a fitter welder and um, I'm level one, which is a production welder. Um, to get your fitter, you have to have three points, which points are determined by station. So I've been in a two point station, a one point station, now I'm in another two point station. So I have more than enough points. The two tests are the hard part, and this is why. This is your study guide, it's 130 pages long, and you'll only get the study for one of the two tests. Um, these are do double sided, that's why. So on Friday, the there's a weld symbols test, which is this packet. And then there is a print reading test, which is what you don't get to study for. So I could have, I've could have t taken these tests two two-ish years ago, year year and a half, probably more than that ago. Um, my big concern was my tax bracket because. Um, f with figuring in YouTube and then work with overtime I get I'm kind of getting close and having a fitter gives you another five thousand dollars a year right because it's 250 an hour and you double it so five grand a year and then um, on top of that like overtime and stuff like it adds up right and like I said we've been doing overtime almost every day um, since the beginning of the year so um, when you figure all that in that the next bracket is 72 or 73 thousand dollars and I didn't want to go over that bracket because then you get taxed even more, which I already get taxed pretty, pretty hefty, right? Um, and I've been waiting. Well, my boss came up to me and he said, he's like, I don't know why I never told you this, but you can, because he knows I do YouTube. In fact, whenever me and him get a chance, he always brings it up, it seems like, because he wants to talk about it, because he's, um retiring within will it be this year this year or the beginning of next year he'll be retiring and he wants to do it himself because he wants to work on cars or something he wants to keep himself busy so yeah anyways he's like why don't you do it and then see where you're at and if you're gonna go over he's like put more money into your retirement because it lowers your taxable amount Boop, light bulb. I'm like, wow, I'm stupid. Why didn't I think of this? 
So, bringing me back to the story, on Friday I got my work done early and the guys were like, hey, you should take your print reading one. Because they said, did you study? And I'm like, I'm like halfway through the packet working on my next half. And they're like, you should go up there and take your print reading. And they kind of were like, you're going to get at, like, there's kind of like some goofy ones in there that you're going to have to answer and you have to be really specific. So I go up there and I ask my boss, like, yo, can I take this test right now? And he's like, yeah. And he prints it off right then and there, puts me up in the tower, like it's like an office up above, puts me up there, it takes me an hour and a half to do this test. An hour and a half for 30 questions, but they were like super wordy and super specific. Like, my boss was in the Navy for 26 years, and so if it's not like perfect, it ain't gonna happen. So, um, he's like overwrite everything, like, write it all out as much as you can so like my answers were like little paragraphs and he actually said that I wrote out almost too much but in a good way like I was too exact so I did that and he was actually really surprised he's like yeah you aced this so um he's like going through he's like most people get this wrong this wrong this wrong he's like you didn't get any of these wrong <laughs> which was a good feeling you know so I passed that one I can't remember pass fail I think it's like you can only get like three or four wrong but I passed that one and now I'm like back working on the packet tonight and uh <laughs> does any of this make sense to you because it makes sense to me but yeah this is the type of stuff that you're um going through right bevels and uh, like the symbol there the little arrow you have to know which side to write the number how to write the symbol itself like it's that little V but there's these are all different symbols and that's just for like the type of groove that you'd have to cut like the shape of it it doesn't include like the weld symbols the size you know there's a lot to it and so I'm gonna try to do I'm on 88 and I think this is 130 ish I don't know 100 yeah, something like that. So I'm going to get this, hopefully, I'm going to go through, hopefully, I got like an hour or two, the rest of this tonight, and then tomorrow night, review it all, and then hopefully Monday I can do it. Because right now we've extended our contract for the union, so um, nobody, if you had like your review, nobody gets a raise until the contracts are the negotiations are over because there is no raise amount right now. Um, there's no percentage set in stone or anything, so they can't give you a raise, but they will back pay you. So if I can get this on there, because I don't know, Monday we're voting, so I don't know if that vote's going to go through or if it's going to be another like two, three months, I would get my three year raise, my fitter raise and on top of my three year raise I would get another whatever percent they decide on that it would go up even more plus yeah and all that would be back paid so like I really maybe hopefully Monday I can stay late do a little OT and get her done because my boss is adamant that I get this like he yeah, probably bugs me once or twice a week because he knows um, now that I'm, I've been there long enough a lot of people have left and so I'm like one of the 
more senior people, I guess you'd say. And I know there's there's like the the assemblies, and then there's like the build up of of the actual buses. And I know all three of those stations, and I'm one. I'm the only person that's been in all three of those stations on nights. So he's like, kind of gets it. Like I've done my time. I was in charge of one station, got moved. In charge of that station, got moved. Now I'm in charge of this station. Like the the knowledge of what can go wrong, what does go wrong. Like it's almost a burden in itself. That's why I feel like I need to get this because it's like sometimes I can barely get my own work done because people come up and they bother me about like hey why is this not fitting like I'm that person where they're always asking me sometimes what I think are the stupidest questions so I'm gonna get compensated for it and hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me but it shouldn't so uh, what's 250 times 40 is a hundred and a hundred a week so an extra two hundred dollars per paycheck before taxes and you'll times that by 0.73 so you get $73 per hundred so it'll be $146 more per check right around there maybe a little less because I don't know uh, but that'll be good because then I'll be raking you know more money in which always looks good and you know, a hundred, even a hundred dollars can go a long way. That's a bill, you know, or that's like almost my insurance, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm just, you know, if the contract is no, they have to swipe the table clean and rewrite all of it. And we're talking, we're already going on like three months of negotiations, two or three months of negotiations. So another two or three months. That'd be a, maybe like a three, four thousand, well, not, maybe three, maybe not even that, but it'd be a nice paycheck to get at the end of it, so, and then I'll be second highest paid in the shop, the only people on top would be, right now I'm third highest, if I got that I'd be second highest, and then to be first you have to be in maintenance, but yeah. Three years I'll be top pay. So I'll be top pay, second highest. But that's what I'm working on. So thanks for watching, guys, and talk to you later.